friends look i am using here handmade antique looking leaves for my festive home decor and it's creating a sparkling glow isn't it so to know in details about how to make it and the tips and tricks to grow this plant i welcome you all to my channel come let's first have a glance at my potted plant here with beautiful foliage these thick and hard leaves are very hard tough just like cardboard also it grows just like palm hence the name cardboard palm but actually it's not a real palm and it's known by the name jamia furfuracea before knowing how to grow it come let's decorate our home first look here i have taken two pieces of stem with leaflets acrylic pens of black and golden color then just paint the leaves here i have given some golden tints to the borders which is giving it a metallic look then i'm sprinkling over it some glitter jewels which you can collect from any bookshop or stationery shop after drying keep it in your vase and give to your home an antique touch now come let's know how to grow it in our garden this one is my mature potted plant now it's the month of september and you can see here at the center the pollen cones see how it looks as it is a non flowering plant these are actually the reproductive parts i'll show you how to use these as our home decor in my upcoming videos it's a cycad with bold leaflets with such an unique arrangement the tips of these leaflets are also rounded unlike other plants of this group it's ideal for landscaping suitable for bonsai and the most important thing is it is also a nice indoor plant and it also needs a very low maintenance here the full view is just looking brilliant you can collect this plant from any plant nursery or buy it online then plant it in your pot while planting please don't put it deep inside the soil but grow it in such a manner as you see it here you can keep it anywhere either in your terrace or under full sunlight but if you use it as an indoor plant then please don't forget to bring it under the sun in every 15 days use the potting mixture consisting of soil compost and a lot of sand sandy soil is best for it here i am adding sand to my pot it's very much necessary after the rainy months otherwise root rotting may occur care must be taken for proper drainage also if you see your leaves are getting dry or brown then cut it otherwise you can also cut the leaves for decor purpose i have only added compost to my plant here it's almost resistant to any pest and diseases so there is no need to add any insecticide so friends plant this cardboard palm in your garden decorate your home and to watch similar plants of this cycad family please keep watching happy gardening and thank you all